when you so think, had these difficult experiences and kind of like learned from them and looked back mm -hmm. and was like, what lesson did I learn? How, how did you make sure that you sort of internalize the lessons from your experience? Mm, that's actually, that's a great question. Um, just internalizing something and like knowing it are such different things. Knowing mm -hmm. something is like, okay, I know this, but like, how do mm -hmm. I integrate it into my system? And I think it, I think I might ascribe that to finding the right people to surround myself with. Mm -hmm. I, I'm incredibly blessed to have friends who are my soulmates. And I know that for a fact, and I have like 15 of them, which not a lot of people can say that like they, I genuinely believe this, like my friends are my soulmates. Mm -hmm. um, I found them at a really young age in a, in a city of 8 million people. That doesn't make sense. That's crazy. Uh, it took me a while to find them, but they are, you know, they're the loves of my life. And I think it's because that they were around me that they kind of reinforced the things that I was trying to learn by bringing them back to me almost. Like, I think Visa talks about this, that the, the best way to manage your knowledge is to have good friends, is to tell mm -hmm. them the things that you think. And then they, you know, they always come back to you with the same thing. The, the number of times I've had some issues and I've been whining to a friend and they give me verbatim the same advice that I gave them a year ago and I'm like you're just you're just telling me what I told you and they're like yeah you already know this like just just do the thing that you said I should do and I was like damn it um it, it's true like I stored all of my knowledge in some incredible people that have no issues you know whacking me in the face with it when I need it mm -hmm. um and it's because it comes from a great place of love it's because they love me completely it's the it's it's the kind of love that I hadn't experienced before I met them, mm. and they're my family. So I think that's why I think it's because every time I would lose my way, which happens because I'm a human being, I would like move back into patterns that weren't great for me. I was able to be like, I'm trying to do this thing. Can you help me? And they were like, absolutely. And even the even the even the way to ask for help, something I I didn't know how to do that ever. I ended up in, you know, really terrible situations mental health wise because I couldn't ask for help. I didn't know how. Mm. So even that was because of them that they insisted on providing help and on noticing me and paying attention to me and being like, hey, I don't are you doing okay? Like you seem a little bit off. And I was like, I didn't even know I was off, but now that you say it, yeah, I'm not doing so good. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for asking. Um, they were the first people I cried in front of. Like I had never done that before in my life, cried in front of anyone ever. And it was unbelievably vulnerable and intimate to me. And I was able to do that in like a Starbucks on campus with other people around. But because my best friend was there, I kept saying sorry. And, and she was like, why? you feel things and it's fine. Like, don't apologize to me. That's what I'm here for. And she, she said like, how, is there some, how can I make you feel good right now? And I just remember that moment of like, you care about making me feel good? Like, that's mm. crazy to me. And she was like, you've been doing that for me for four years. You just don't say it out loud, but you do it. And I was mm. like, oh, I had no idea. So I think it's because of them. It's because they're the greatest people in the world and I'm obsessed with them. And I found mm. amazing people. So yeah, it's, I found the friendly, ambitious nerds like in my life. Amazing, amazing. Uh, that's such a good answer. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. I just ask because like, I often feel like I'm learning a lesson from life and receiving wisdom and then I'll forget it and not apply it. And, um, you know, variable success there sometimes more than other times, but um, that's such a, it, it makes sense that that's how you internalized the wisdom is having friends yeah. that just remind you when you need it. Um, like, yeah. hello, you told me this six months ago, just like do yeah. the thing that you told me to do. And I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> Correct. This you does sound right. familiar. Uh, <laughs> Seems like I said it. Yeah, you did say it. Here's a <laughs> screenshot of you saying it to me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>